Listen, she's got her first jumper of the season on. Hair's back in a slick Rick bun. Nails are painted red. First autumnal candle burning and we can even hear a bit of rain on the glass window up above. Smells like autumn to me. Hello angels, welcome back to my channel. Um, Listen, it's about to get hot up in here because we are back with the first haul of autumn. OMG, I know right, I've literally been counting down the minutes ever since January. Autumn is one of my favourite, there are only four seasons, so how can it really be one of my favourites when there's not really too many to pick from? I would say autumn is probably my favourite season. I know like winter is amazing and it is my birthday and it is Christmas in winter, but autumn, it just has something magical about it. You know, nights are getting colder, evenings are getting darker, jumpers are making more of a frequent occasion in the closet i am so happy to say that the first haul of autumn and trust me boo we've got a lot coming up is with misguided which i am so happy about i actually think one of my most popular autumn hauls last year was with misguided so um i'm really hoping you guys are gonna like this one just as much i feel like misguided peaks at autumn do you know what i mean like every year misguided bring out a sick autumn jumper which is you know, this one right here, which I'm rocking. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I do actually have a discount code for you guys, which I'm really happy about. I hope you guys are buzzing too. It's 20% off. Yeah, yeah, what you say. All the way until the end of September. So you guys have got ages to get your autumn get up. But do you know what I mean, boo? Like, it's raining. It's cold outside, so you better get it quick. Discount code is on the screen right here. It's le 20 or it'll be in the description box below, as well as all the links and everything to the products that I show you guys today. I mean, this is the box that they sent me the stuff in like not even a misguided bag it was just a box so you can bet we've got a lot to get through okay give the video a thumbs up if you're excited because i sure am i'm gonna be thumbs up in my own video boo i'm gonna sat there i'm gonna be number one first thumbs up what do you say about that okay seeing as i'm wearing it i've got to speak about it the first item is this gorgeous gray jumper which i am just obsessed with i just i just feel like an autumnal queen basically in jumpers like this roll necks gray knitted you just can't go wrong in my opinion boo they're super comfy i had one very similar from misguided last year but i just feel like this one you know it's just a, you know 2018 version keeping it fresh boo this one in a size small and this jumper was actually only 25 pounds do you know what i mean 25 pounds omg boot you really just can't go wrong they also do it in a really gorgeous sort of like um beigey kind of color i did really want that one but i thought la it's literally not even september yet it's like you've still got a week left of august so just hold your horses in a little minute angel i'm going out tonight with my family and i'm wearing this i don't care what no one says august 24th i'm wearing my first autumn jumper they can say what they want about me i just think if you don't have a roll neck gray jumper or a roll neck jumper in that matter when it hits september the first are you really prepared for autumn are you ready for christmas not really are you the grinch probably item number two is possibly possibly going to be my second favorite jumper of the season but then let's not get ahead of ourselves because this is only haul number one of ellie darby autumn haul series and um we all know when i find a new jumper i do fall in love with it but i'm gonna go ahead and right now in my collection this is definitely number two favorite of all of the jumpers it's this one right here it's a cropped baby pink wow i can actually hear you guys all saying wow right now and i've not even shown you it properly it has quite big sleeves and then it has like a high neck oh my god it's just so cute you guys will wait until the try on bit seriously you're gonna be like oh my god it is also cropped so i'm gonna be absolutely loving this look with a pair of mum jeans maybe a couple of long necklaces hair down bouncy oh my god like trainers do you know what i mean i kind of feel like this jumper itself is really perfect for september month you know it's not cold enough where you literally like need every single centimeter of your skin covered because it's freezing cold but you do want to wrap up a little bit warm you still want to look like autumnal cute you know plus can i just say the material i wish i wish we could all just cuddle it right now like i wish you guys could actually feel the material of this it's so soft i would actually sleep on it I'm not gonna because I'm gonna wear it instead. You guys would love this one. This is in a size eight and it's actually only 22 pounds. 22 pounds, that's, sorry. Especially with my 20% discount that takes it down to about 17 pounds if the maths in my head is correct. And 
you really haven't broken the bank. I just, I just don't see that being topped. I honestly don't. Okay, this next one, I wouldn't really call it a jumper. But it kind of is, but it's kind of not. You'll see what I mean. So this is just like a high neck kind of black top. Although it is a jumper, but it's like quite thin material. So again, I think this is a really perfect sort of September transitional member of the fam. I tried this on earlier. This was actually the first thing I... Whoa, exposure. Honey, calm down. I know I'm the snow queen, but... I don't really want to look like one. Just the first thing I tried on when I opened up my package from Misguided. And I couldn't believe how flattering it was. I really couldn't. I'm sorry. This is the jumper that your friends are going to be like, wow, you look really good in that jumper. You know, like, you never kind of feel like, sort of like, sexy in a jumper. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like this, okay, with some black jeans and a pair of, you know, belly there's, if you, you know, going out for a pub couple of drinks at the pub or something do you know what i mean this has an oversized fit so i got it in a size eight and this one was also 22 pounds this one was kind of like um a risk for me because on the model i couldn't really tell what it looked like like she was doing but she was rocking it right like she was doing like real model poses i was like mm, does that only look good on her and not me because you know she was like pulling it down and then you know, she was just doing a few model poses really and i just couldn't tell but i am really really happy with the way this looks and i definitely think this is probably going to be one of my most most worn it's so comfy i think you can dress it up you can dress it down you can go out on a date on this can you imagine like a really cute oh my god christmasy kind of day oh my god stop it because i don't know what it is but something about winter just makes me feel a certain way inside and i just want everybody to just be so happy in their oversized black jumpers the last jumper i got in this haul isn't really a jumper again it's kind of similar to the black oversized top but this one is gray and it's actually a hoodie so again the reason i really like this one is because this is the sort of stuff i wear literally like day in day out all day long just when i'm sort of like running errands um i'm doing admin work for the day it's so so comfy i can't even get enough again it's like a really oversized fit i got this one in a size eight again and i'm really glad i did i remember on the website i was looking at these two and i was like mm, do i get a size 10 because you know when like a hoodie or like a jumper comes and it's like too small and you're like mm, okay that really does not look nice yeah i really really am happy that i got this size because i feel like if i got a size up i would have kind of felt a little bit drowned in them again super flattering because it is such thin material and yet again i know i keep saying this but this is a really great sort of transitional piece in the month of september because you can just chuck it on with some joggers do you know what i mean no i'm not going for a run hun i'm just going to the post office but i'm still looking glam because guess who's got their september transitional pieces me not you well you might do but you're not going to be looking as glam as me Unless you went through Ellie Darby's video too, boo. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I haven't told you how much this is. This one was also £22. Okay, moving on to my favourite bits of the haul. So, we all know, okay, yes, I'm a jumper girl. Yes, that that is really sort of as far as that sentence goes. I am also a coat girl. Don't know if you knew about me last winter. Like, did you know about me? I am a jacket girl. I am definitely a blazer girl, as we're going to see later in the haul. Oh my goodness, you guys don't even know what's up. There's just something about, like, a big puffer coat that makes me feel a certain type of way. Wow, okay. Even looking at this sort of, like, makes me excited. Oh, so, wow. Could, would you look at the colour? Sorry, first of all. So, this is a massive coat basically it's right up my street now unfortunately when i ordered this they only had size 10s and up i do think they may have been restocked and if they have been restocked and you are lower than a size 10 as your time because they're back in stock whatever your size is i would recommend sizing down i was had to size up to this for a size 10 it still fits like it's a coat you know what i mean it's, it is supposed to be big but I just wish I could have got a size 6 because it really does make me feel a little bit like the Michelin Man. Do you know what I mean? Like, I do... Let me show you. Okay. Still cool. Yeah, it's still sick, but do you know what I mean? People don't think this is a puffer coat. They're going to be like, Ellie, you know, Boo, maybe you shouldn't have a Christmas advent calendar this year. That's what people might say. Oh, yeah. I'm just feeling wintry over here. Don't mind about me. Okay, I'm going to do a try on clip so you guys can actually see this better because I'm not going to sit here in front of a ring light and a Hollywood mirror and the radiators on and, like, feel cool and comfortable in this because secretly I feel like I'm going to melt. I do feel like I have a pea head in this outfit right now. I'm cool with it, though. The bright side to sort of having a bigger coat is that obviously you can wear, like, massive hoodies underneath it and stuff. And let's be honest, everybody, the primary reason you need a coat is to keep you warm inside side no yeah to keep you warm inside hmm did that make sense 
don't know but you know what i mean <laughs> okay so like i said i got this one in a size 10 although i wish i got it in a size 8 or even 6 and i do feel like this one was a little bit more on the pricey side but i honestly don't think for a coat it was too bad yeah so this one was 45 pounds and i'm very very happy with it it is a very big coat so if that's the sort of thing you're looking for jump on it you know what i mean seriously boo before we know it it's going to be freezing cold i don't want everybody about that right now it's going to be freezing cold and you're all going to be sat there wishing if only i had that ginormous stone puffer coat that ellie recommended to me i'm like yeah you should be having that though just because i do feel like this is going to be sort of my favorite coat of the season um yeah we got it in another colour. This one I did get in a size 8. So I feel like this one does fit me a little bit better. I just couldn't help myself though. Sorry. Would you look at this colour? It's called Mocha. Mocha colour. How well does it go with my lip shade? Oh wow. Like I said, I think they're going to be my favourite this autumn. I also really like the length on them. You guys will see on the try on. I feel like this one will probably go better with like black outfits. And that one may go better with lighter. Like white. Do you get the drift? Can you imagine those vibes? Because I really can. Wow, I just... I just almost feel like this should be an, a necessity, actually. Going into autumn of the Angel Girls gang. I mean, the boyfriends in the back can have one too. I honestly feel like it would fit Connor. But I just... I actually just really want everybody in the Angel Girls gang to have one of these coats. Because I really like them so much. I'm going to be seeing this styled an awful lot. Can I just say that on my Instagram? Which, if you don't follow, I'm not going to say hashtag shameless plug because we all know I'm not very shameless. Or maybe I am. I just don't know the true meaning of that word. But you should go and follow me. You know, if you're thinking about getting this coat and you're like, how would I wear it? I'm just saying, go over there and you'll see. Next coat I picked up for autumn is something I was kind of not unsure of because i've always really liked the trend so i decided to try it but i did get one of those teddy bear coats You've probably seen all over instagram and instagram stories and everything because everybody is loving them at the moment they also did this one in a gray which i really liked but i wasn't sure if the gray would go with much more like i said i feel like this would just you know it's just something extra to spice up your life in the autumn imagine how imagine how sick this is going to be in october you know you're going to have pumpkins everywhere dotted all down the streets all in the house all by everyone else's houses and you're gonna be matching okay this isn't orange like a pumpkin but it's like those sort of vibes i do feel like this is a really autumnal color and i thought it would just go so nice with so many outfits tried it on can confirm 10 out of 10 i really like the length on it it's not too long i got this one in a size eight and again wouldn't really go any higher this one was 45 pounds as well but let's just do the maths okay 45 minus early 20 20 percent off that is 36 pounds for an amazing coat really can't go wrong the next thing i got i kind of feel like we probably have all seen before because blazers have been so in like super fashionable especially over summertime um, you know i do feel like they've been the perfect accessory but i am not gonna let it stop there don't worry everybody your president is not going to let the blazer trend disappear so fast mm -mm -mm. here we have three blazers that i have so kindly for myself put onto a hanger so this is the first one i have wanted a white blazer for a very very long time i finally feel like i found the perfect one this is long line blazer and i tried it on and it kind of is like the sort of same length as a coat um i do actually feel like it would be really nice sort of without anything underneath it as well maybe it looks like a pair of cycling shorts for a night out or something but i just thought this would be such a cute sort of jacket for this transitional period you know a cute pair of mum jeans or maybe some joggers with some trainers i think it's a really really cute look this one's actually 35 pounds which i don't think for such a high quality blazer is actually too bad i can tell that i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this the other two blazers i got are very similar in color although this one is slightly more uh like beige i would say and this one's probably more warm there are two very different blazers though which you will probably be able to see much better in the try on okay this one is another long line one and this is a boyfriend style blazer so it's just a little bit less fitted it's probably the same length as the white one again i think it's going to be a really cute jacket um and i do feel like this is probably more of a casual kind of blazer like i'd probably chuck this on with some jeans um maybe going to meet my friends for some brunch this one is definitely a more i'm going out tonight kind of blazer i really love the buttons on this one and i think this is gonna go so nice with a pair of cycling shorts if the weather still permits it that's one thing i'm gonna be hard um of coming to terms with like 
no more cycling shorts right i might still just wear them under my jogging bottoms to be completely honest this one's definitely shorter than the others the others you could definitely just like pull off as kind of a a coat this one is definitely one i would style more on and out like i just said i'd wear a lot of jewelry with it be a hair and like a slick pony whereas with the other nude one i could totally like chuck a tartan scarf with it and like wear some cute boots but this one i'd be like nah, nah you don't know about me okay, i have three more coats to show you and i feel like the next one i want to show you is this one because it's so random it's just it's really not typically me but i remember my sister had one like this last autumn and i was like i feel like maybe next year i could try that because i just didn't feel emotionally ready to wear something like this last year i'm hoping this year i learned to pull it off do you ever have something like that in your life because i do all the time so this is one of those like massively shaggy uh that word didn't sound great coming out my mouth it's like a cardigan actually and i really liked the way this looked kind of off my shoulders when i tried this one in the mirror i think this would look really nice with like a high neck sort of bodysuit and then um a pair of black jeans and some boots i do also think you could probably dress it down like i can imagine seeing some like really cool sort of you know girl walking down the high street in bath with like a cool jumper and some really sick trainers and i just wish i could wear an outfit like that do you ever walk past those sort of people and you're like how do you manage to look so great in everything and i just you know if i tried to wear that like a thumb listen i'm going to be trying my best to pull this one off and if i can i'll totally let you know so if you guys do have any styling tips or you know what you can picture wearing with this then please let me know in the comments below you know boo we're all in this together Woo! i got this one in a size small and this was actually 45 pounds so again it's quite expensive i mean it is the same price as those other coats but i feel like this is definitely something that's going to keep you warm on a posh event whereas you can't you know what i mean babe you can't really rock up to like posh dinner in one of those stone puffer things people will be like come on boo okay we're nearly there which i'm feeling good about because it has warmed up in this room the next thing i got was actually a leather jacket I was cleaning up my wardrobe the other day um i saw two old leather jackets that i actually had from like five or six years ago it didn't fit anymore because you know your gal she's been growing the guns i picked up this one this is in a size eight i really love the kind of all black look with a pair of over the knee flat boots in winter and i think the leather jacket just kind of like adds a sense of cool to it leather jackets again are kind of like the perfect transitional item again because you know they're not big massive coats like the puffer coats i think it's a really cool um sort of jacket to wear on a night out and i also think it's really cool in the day to go shopping in it just really depends if you want that sort of look again i'm gonna be trying to style this over on eggs so funny points to the angels who comment on the pics and they're like I know where you got that from, hun. I know where you got that from because I watched the haul. And then finally, the last item that I got in this misguided haul is this coat, which is actually a bike coat. Although I wouldn't have necessarily said that, but okay, do you know what misguided? I will take that description. This is like um, a, another beige color, which I really like. If you guys can't tell, I'm loving nude and I'm also loving black. I got this coat in a size eight and I did think that this was a really nice sort of formal coat to wear. It's gonna go perfect over any outfit. It's not really really thick but it will still keep you warm and i think it's going to be so easy to style as well so that's just another little coat to add to my collection and i hope in all those millions of coats there you guys saw one that you <laughs> would like because let's be honest i basically got every single coat available so this one was 45 pounds as well again with the discount code that brings it to like 36 idk on the website the model's wearing this with a bodysuit and a pair of jeans which i think looks gorgeous i would also say that this would look really nice with a sort of like a-line skirt it does also have like some shoulder pad things going on up here so that just adds to it and that to angels is everything i got in the misguided haul my first autumn misguided haul omg now, i don't know about you but i feel prepared right i'm like listen anyone can throw anything at me but i'm ready i'm just gonna go back with all of these coats and be like are you prepared for autumn though the answer is no because i'm prepared for autumn unless you're on my level you're not prepared for autumn if you guys are going to be making any purchases today through misguided then remember my discount code boo and you better remember it all the way till the end of september because that's what's going on there 20 percent yeah yeah at the moment as well i think if you are watching this video before tuesday then i do think they're having like an up to 50 percent off summer sale my discount code won't work for that section of the 
website. They may have some cute finds in there as well. So if you're more of a summer girl than an awesome girl like me, then you know, but just jump on that hype right there. I've still got your back. Thank you guys so much. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know if there are any more brands down in the comments below that you would like me to try out for this autumn. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.